In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to write an assembly language program to add the two numbers in 8086 uh, using the DOS BIOS interrupts and uh, execute it using emulator 8086 uh, this software. So I will be writing this program here for writing this program uh, this addition program I will uh, select this new and then uh, empty workspace new workspace new empty workspace I selected so I'll write the program required program for adding two numbers here uh, the title of the program is uh, an ALP in 8086 to add two given numbers two given numbers in two given numbers using DOS bias interrupts so uh, using this title directive I have written uh, have given the title for this program uh, uh, if we don't want to uh, give the title directive uh, we can also give uh, write this title as a comment uh, by giving the semicolon like this now uh, I have given the title I have used the title directive now I will write in the uh, now before defining the actual part of the program uh, where the addition is performed uh, I need to define different assembler directives as I discussed in previous uh, program uh, we need to uh, be clear about different assembler directives uh, so uh, here I'll write uh, the required uh, compulsory assembler directives uh, which are as follows dot model small this is the memory model definition directive uh, it uh, occupies uh, it occupies 64 data segment less than or equal to 64 kilobyte as in previous program and uh, as I explained in previous program and the code segment is also less than or equal to 64 kilobyte uh, in this way <coughs> uh, first of all I define this compulsory one of the compulsory assembler directive then other assembler directive we should write is that is stack and this stack and directive is used occupies 1024 bytes 1024 bytes by default uh, it takes 1024 byte I can also write here uh, if I write here 100 s then it occupies 100 bytes of memory for sta stack occupies 1024 bytes for stack segment in this way uh, to compulsory directive I have defined here now on the other essential data definition directive is dot data the data directive well I will be defining the two given data that I should add add in the uh, add in this program which, which I will be using to add the two numbers so I'll be given the variable name is value one value one and it will be is DB data byte memory model definition this data byte size one byte of data I'll give here and by default I'll give here uh, the uh, decimal value here I have given the decimal value uh, 80 uh, I'll perform the addition in decimal addition uh, and the second value is val2 db 10 uh, so two uh, given data are 80 and 10 and I should get the result uh, 9 uh, 10 plus uh, 80 equal to 90 after the addition uh, addition program in this program uh, so now I have defined the data now I should define the actual part of the program code 
code under the dot code directive uh, so it initializes the code segment now uh, under in the code segment the program uh, that I should write we should be executed to uh, add two numbers uh, and keep the result after the addition uh, here I will start the uh, procedure with addition proc uh, initialize this line initializes initializes the procedure with procedure name addition and addition in this way this line initializes the new procedure with procedure name addition uh, uh, this uh, according to the sense we can give uh, the name of the procedure is here I am performing the addition so I am giving here the name of the procedure is addition uh, now uh, to initialize and to read the given data and initialize the data segment initializes Realize, initializes the data segment I need to give the startup directive it is not startup it's start of startup directive uh, so now I'll writing I'll be writing the actual part of the program uh, that will perform the addition operation these are till now I have written all assembly directives they are not executed actually uh, they are not actual part of the program that perform the addition so first of all I'll move uh, I one of the data should be in uh, AL register so I'll perform um, the data transfer operation first I'll move uh, this value one in AL register and then add uh, AL register with PAL2 in this way uh, I performed addition of value 1 and ad addition of value 1 that is 80 80 and value 2 that is 10 these two addition of these two data is performed and internally the addition is performed uh, in and the addition is performed the addition is performed performed uh, in ASC I I form ASC I form uh, that is that is these values are converted to corresponding ASCII uh, so now to uh, convert these ASCII values uh, to adjust the ASCII value or convert these uh, these values in corresponding uh, to give the result in to give the result in uh, ASCII form I need to use this AM AM operation that is ASCII AM instruction ASCII adjust after multiplication uh, or simply telling uh, here I am performing addition uh, but I am using this multiplication instruction because it operates on AX register it operates on AS, AX register or BCD um, BCD adjust after multiplication and it converts or uh, it also performs the BCD adjust after multiplication means it converts uh, into corresponding BCD form to the result and then uh, that result should be converted into unpacked form uh, convert the result to unpacked 
compact VCD in AX register. In this way, uh, the result uh, we have got after uh, after executing this line uh, at AL comma VL will be converted to uh, will be converted to unpacked VCD uh, format. Now, uh, is I should keep the result in ASCI form and uh, I should I need to add uh, this uh, 30 years to keep uh, to keep the final result in uh, final result in ASCI form uh, because uh, corresponding uh, 0 has decimal value of 0 uh, has corresponding ASCI value is 30 so I should add uh, AX with AS because the result is stored in AX register uh, 30 30 years uh, to get the result in ASA form uh, convert the unpacked unpacked BCD result to AS ASCII form in this way you can get the final result now uh, in AH and AL register the result has been stored uh, now this uh, to get the result I should use the uh, character output method character display method and that is uh, uh, function number 0 to X and now uh, I need to move this uh, AL register in uh, value of the AL register result of the AL register in DL register so that uh, overwrite uh, would not be performed later and uh, this uh, AS value in AS value in DL register uh, to display uh, character wise now uh, to display the result uh, character wise is character wise uh, first of all I should display the most significant result uh, thus which is in AS register thus I moved it in DL register uh, because this uh, move AS comma 0 to S int 21 years this character display function will always look uh, the DL register content thus uh, displays this displays this displays the most most significant frequent 8 bit result most significant 8 bit result means the result in uh, the result in uh, AH register AS register which is most significant bit uh, and then now now um, to display the next next uh, least significant character I should write um, move first of all I should move uh, the content of DS register that is AL register uh, in DL DL to apply this again this uh, character display function uh, int 21 h this displays using character character display display function of dust bias interrupts dust bias interrupt RRUPTS interrupts in this way uh, now again this displays displays the least significant frequent 8 bit of the result uh, in this way I'll display uh, both result this two lines will display these lines will display both the result these lines uh, now after the output has been displayed by using the character display function uh, I now I will terminate the program 
using that exit directive this terminates the program uh, part of the program and then now to end the procedure I need to use the NP directive and uh, addition addition in the P I should write the procedure name uh, the same procedure name that I have initialized uh, to to in to end the procedure to end the procedure uh, terminates the procedure with procedure name addition uh, now I'll uh, terminate the overall part of the program to terminate the overall part of the program I need to use the and directive and 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 this any one uh, any one procedure name should be given and here as I have initialized the addition procedure the same name I should give here so in this way uh, this uh, this ends the program this ends the overall program in this way we can write uh, the program in 8086 uh, that displays uh, that uh, adds the two given numbers that is 80, uh, 80 and 10 and uh, display the result in the output so now I'll uh, run this program emulate this program in using emulator 806 so uh, to emulate this I'll select this emulate button now this uh, there's no any error in this program so now uh, to get to see the result I'll uh, use uh, I'll select this run button and thus in this way we got the result 90 uh, 90 and uh, that uh, this is the desired result addition of 80 uh, and 10 as result is in 90 uh, in this way if I change the data like this if I write um, 50 50 and 10 uh, to data if I uh, want to add two data 50 and 10 then uh, uh, I can get uh, the different uh, desired result like this uh, so 50 plus 10 I should get 60 let's see I, I'll get it or not I'll run this program run so I got here 60 here it is written that program has written control to the operating system means dust bias operating system as you have used dust bias operating system thus uh, it shows this were our masses uh, in this way uh, if we uh, want to add uh, different numbers like this by changing different uh, two digit numbers uh, we can get the result like this in this way we can perform uh, addition of two given numbers in 8086 using dos bias interrupts and uh, execute this program using the emulator 8086 uh, that's it uh, for this program